Hi, this is Connor for Avid Visions Video, and today we are downtown in Philadelphia. Uh, right now we're in Love Park, and I'm going to be reviewing the Rokinon 85mm f1.4 for Nikon. Okay. This, is a, this is a fully manual lens with a removable lens hood included, and um, a Rokinon brand lens cap that gets in the way of the lens hood. So something to know right away, you might want to just buy a aftermarket uh, lens cap. Um, its minimum focusing distance is one meter, and you see this focusing ring, or the aperture control ring down here. There are half stops between the named marks from in between 2.8 and f16, but between f2 and f1.4, there are no labeled stops. This version has electric connections, so I can change the aperture directly on my camera. Um, and I believe that all makes of this Rokinon, for no matter what camera type you use, will allow you to change the aperture from the camera. However, it is exclusively the Nikon fit that will have an autofocus confirmation chip. This does not mean that the lens is autofocus, it's still a manual focus lens for all mounts, but it does mean that your viewfinder will blink a little bit um, in the bottom uh, left corner. There's a little green dot that blinks up when the selected area in your viewfinder is quote in focus according to the camera. However, these chips aren't amazing, real, amazingly reliable. Um, the, what this chip also allows you to do for Nikon is you'll notice an AE on the lens. This means that I can use um, aperture priority to auto expose with this lens, which is a really nice feature. Um, yeah, this lens works on both uh, full frame and crop sensor cameras, um, and it is also very, very good for movies because it is a manual focus lens. You can see right now it's not quite wide open. It's probably at about f2 um, and you can see that the book is still pretty smooth because this has a nine bladed diaphragm. One thing though that is important to notice is that it's very tough to manually focus this at f1.4. There's a razor shallow depth of field um, so that can make things difficult. There's Roman taking the video. Um, but yeah, so this lens is really, really great for videos. There's some great, great bokeh on the lens, and it's really sharp, even at f1.4. Um, there is, however, some chromatic aberration when you get into high contrast areas, especially in the corner, when you're shooting at f1.4. Um, so we'll be showing you some sample pictures shortly, but some other things to note, the focusing ring is not is very smooth but it's not the easiest to rotate it's a little stiff and on, that's loosened up over the two months that i've had this lens but it still is very very sort of tough to move again though it loosens up over time all right as i said there's a minimum focusing distance of one meter but that's not that big of an issue because when you have an 85 millimeter lens and you're at f 1.4 you have less than like, I believe it's two centimeters in focus at one time. Um, that's a sharp focus. So manipulating the depth of field and like focusing correctly is very, very difficult even when I'm this far away from my subject. Um, and for this reason, uh, right now we're at f1.4, so I can show you the sharpness. And this is an auto exposure mode, so this is showing how the lens auto exposes. Uh, partially Nikon's fault, that's really underexposed, but we're gonna try this again. Um, the point that I'm trying to prove though is that it's very, very tough, even with the autofocus confirmation, to get a spot on focus when you're this close. Um, we're going to move up a little bit, but yeah, for that reason, I can't say that I really would recommend this lens. I've loved the focal length for two months and it's been great to have such a fast lens, but I've just come to the conclusion that it's too difficult to reliably work unless you have a completely still subject, which is just an ideal condition that I can't always meet. For that reason, I will give this lens a 6 out of 10 because of its great sharpness, its really solid build construction, the included hood, and the great value for money. This is a $300 f1.4 lens. The cheapest Canon or Nikon 85mm that's an f1.8 is not even within about $200 of this lens. So this is a great value for money, but the manual focus sort of kills it for me. Maybe that's just me being an inexperienced photographer, but at this focal length and to be used properly at f1.4 like the lens wants to be, I think it's just not, not realistic. Again, this is Connor signing out for Avidusions. Thanks for watching.
train rolling. Can we smile? Uh, I'm Maddie. This is this is train month for Madison actually. <laughs> She's having a good time. <laughs> this is Emily. She's crying right now. On the counter. On the counter. Get the friend no problem. Maybe maybe on the counter liquefy, I don't know. She's really oh god. <laughs>